So now we're gonna talk a little bit about the Saney SY35U and the way you disconnect and connect your buckets. This particular machine is equipped with a manual pin grabber coupler system. This is not direct from the factory. This is an aftermarket manufacturer that's set up on this particular machine. The only way to put a hydraulic coupler on this particular machine is to go with an aftermarket source. So now we'll move on to the Saney SY35U interior on the cab. Uh, by far the narrowest cab opening that we've experienced so far. This bar extends out into the cab opening as well as your door release latch. Uh, very tight cramped quarters. Uh, the screen is multicolored. It is not touch screen, not integrated with the camera, not integrated with the radio. You have to use additional manual buttons down here. Another thing that they've done is your boom swing controls at the front of the cab are not located on the joysticks. It's a manual foot pedal, similar to some other machines we've checked out. Uh, the other thing that they've added is a secondary footrest, which while some operators may like it, a guy like myself that's tall, that's very gonna, gonna limit a lot of my floor space to move my feet around. Moving on from there, they do have their auxiliary controls mounted on the right joystick here. All your other functions are located back behind your right shoulder to include your radio. If, I, if I'm working and I need to change any settings on my machine, I now have to manually turn over, stop what I'm doing, and access everything. Another thing that we noticed on this machine, uh, out of all the other machines we checked out, blade lever is always located right to the right of your right joystick. On this particular machine, it's a very small lever. You can only access it with your fingertips and it's located underneath the armrest. So now we'll talk about the maintenance on the Saney SY35U. Fuel fill is not located behind the entry door for easy access. Walking around to the rear hood here, it is locking once you open that up, it is relatively accessible. You have both your fuel lo filters located right here in the rear. Coolant jug is right here. Oil filter, dipstick, engine oil fill. All relatively accessible here. All right, so now moving over to the side. We slide this compartment open here. We've got our battery shut off, our air filter, and our battery down below. You'll notice the cooling pack is hidden behind these debris screens which while seems like a good idea in theory, in order for you to clean any of these, you now have to undo all of these bolts in order to access your cooling pack. Moving around to the front side, to the hood, there is no push button latch on this front hood. So you're gonna always have to have your key every single time you go to fuel this machine. So we unlock our hood up front here. Now we have access to our hydraulic tank and also our fuel fill. One thing to note, there is no decals in here designating which port is which on this machine. 